Okay, I uh, couldn't resist doing another little video here. Um, this is just the little setup I've got at home here. Um, so a couple neat things I uh, just wanted to share. Uh, mainly because I got these white uh, LEDs. <laughs> so there's a 9 in series here uh, with an AV plug. And um, that is going to the uh, negative ground here. Um, it doesn't make much difference with or without, but uh, it does affect the tuning. And so, um, here's the earth ground coming in here. And so, look at the waveform and the current here. So, 25 milliamps, fully loaded. 1.5 volts, or sorry, 1.2 volts, and uh, got this adjustable capacitor recently, uh, which is really nice. I've got that across the primary. So here uh, we've got our light and uh, 25 milliamps. I'm gonna pull off the earth ground wire. Goes out. And it went down 5 milliamps. Plug it back in. And so went up uh, 5 milliamps. I had it at a spot earlier where actually it uh, didn't make a difference, but anyway, um, so I've got that plate again that I'm taking power from, and I'm finding that to be pretty critical. Maybe it's just uh, something I'm doing, but uh, I'll move that closer and further so the plate is fixed and the whole thing I can slide. Too close, too far. Okay, so now we'll adjust this ferrite. So all the way out, got nothing. All the way in, we got nothing. And then finally, I'll tune the capacitor, which is across the primary parallel. So you can see that uh, almost every part in this is pretty pretty critical. including the distance from the plate too close is not necessarily better and in this LED um, the, I'm just kinda new to all this uh, I was thinking that had some sort of relation to the output but it actually um, will get uh, in a into a dim um, a dim spot before this well, as that g comes alive, that goes dim, and that's uh, kind of similar to what you'd expect in parallel resonance. Uh, once you hit that resonant frequency, the impedance goes up and acts like a resistor. So then I'll get my hand too close, 
and you see the indicator LED pick up and the load shut down. Um, another thing is this is the uh, Stifler uh, style circuit where it's spiking off the collector and um, I want to try this out next with um, the base of the coil running the base of the transistor like the Slayer circuit so yeah this is running really nice seems to hold around 20 25 milliamps alright so anyway the point was just this capacitance across the primary and uh, that's 360 picos I believe and I measured this and uh, I think it's 12 microhenries where that tap is and then I'm adjusting the, uh, the ferrite in order to get that 12 uh, so it's gonna be you know maybe three or four microhenries without the ferrite but with the ferrite it, uh, at that tap it measures 12 microhenries uh, I've got 400 picos um, in series with that, 12 microhenries, and that's running the base uh, emitter feedback. And then that LED with those diodes is also on the base emitter feedback. And then that 22 microhenry choke is uh, choking right off the positive input. And that capacitor electrolytic is across the positive and negative rails. That does filter some of the uh, the input and brings down the current as well. Um, that's about it, I guess. Loving it. So without being able to adjust all these variables, I'd find a, find it really difficult to get this running. But once you do, you can get it running in different different forms and shapes, I guess. Talk to you guys later.